we will be demonstrating the correct installation procedure for butterfly valves. Spears butterfly valves are designed for system connection between two flanges or a single side flange for dead end service. Spears currently offers four different types of butterfly valves. Each of these are available with a lever or gear operator, different elastomer seat options, and made in both PVC and CPVC. The first is our standard butterfly valve which is also available in polypropylene. Second is our lug insert butterfly valve using our factory or field installable lug inserts within the body of the standard butterfly valve. Third is our true lug style butterfly valve which comes with factory installed lugs and a backing plate. Fourth is our wafer style butterfly valve. This valve has built in flange gaskets with a laying length to allow direct replacement of common cast iron valves. Special care must be taken when installing a wafer butterfly valve between two thermoplastic flanges. The gaskets are built in and the flange hardware is installed around the valve body. Do not over tighten the bolts, possibly causing the flange ring to bend or break. This demonstration will include a 4 inch standard and lug insert butterfly valve. First assemble all the necessary tools and materials needed. For butterfly valve installations we will be using the following tools. A torque wrench and a combination wrench. Materials needed include the butterfly valve, two class 150 flanges, Spears butterfly valve hardware kit or equivalent, Spears lug insert kit, an anti-seize thread lubricant, and two full phase flange gaskets. <coughs> Your installation begins by placing the valve in the closed position. Using one of the connecting flanges, align bolt holes of the flange, valve, and gasket. Insert half of the flange bolts with washers through all three pieces. This will keep the assembly aligned and still allow for easy installation of the corresponding flange. Next install the second flange by aligning the gasket and inserting the bolts through the holes. Align the second flange and slide the assembly freely into the valve body by hand until flush with gasket. Now install the washers and nuts while lubricating the male threads with a compatible anti-seize thread lubricant. Remember, a flange assembly should never be the last connection assembled on a piping system. Areas where the pipe can be cut to the precise length needed should be reserved for the final connection. This eliminates the possibility of any excessive stress placed on the flange by pulling the flanges together if the pipe is cut too short. Next, properly align the exterior assembly and check the internal alignment as well. Install the remaining hardware and tighten hand tight. While doing this, confirm that there was one washer on each side of all the bolts. Now that the hardware is hand tight, use the torque wrench and combination wrench to tighten the bolts in increments of 5 foot pounds using a 180 degree opposing pattern. All Spears molded flange rings have the bolt torque and tightening sequence embossed on each ring for reference. The first setting on the torque wrench will be 5 foot pounds. Start with bolt hole mark number one and tighten the nut while holding the bolt head with a combination wrench. Follow the numbered opposing pattern until each bolt is torqued to five foot pounds. Inspect the flanges and gaskets for proper alignment and seating. If the connecting pipe is too long or short, alignment and seating will not be accomplished at five foot pounds and the assembly should be resized or realigned. Now set the torque wrench to 10 foot pounds. Repeat the process of evenly tightening each nut until the torque value is reached on each. These particular flanges have a recommended bolt torque of 25 foot-pounds. This means that the torque wrench will be increased four times, starting at five until 25 foot-pounds is reached. When installing a lug insert style butterfly valve, simply place Spears lug inserts through each valve bolt hole from the side of the valve body containing the hex recess. Press lightly until the lug insert is fully seated into the recess. Refer to Spears Butterfly Valve Bolt Specification Table for the correct size hardware used for each valve size and type. Align flange, gasket, and valve bolt holes and place together flush. Install valve on the side opposite the lug insert hex.
Use the lug insert table for bolt lengths under single side for the correct length. Install bolts and washers hand tight. Follow the same tightening procedure as previously mentioned, 5 foot-pound increments and using a 180 degree opposing pattern until specified torque is reached. The single, <coughs> the single side flange valve can now be used for dead-end service while still retaining the second flange installation option without removing the valve. When installing a second flange, keep in mind that the bolt length will be shorter than what was used on the opposite side. Refer again to the lug insert table bolt length under second flange for the correct length. Again, align flange and gasket bolt holes and place flush against the valve. Install bolts and washers hand tight. Follow the same tightening procedure mentioned throughout this demonstration. 5 foot-pound increments using a 180 degree opposing pattern until specified torque is reached. And remember, never use bolts to bring together improperly mated flanges. The true lug butterfly valve tightening procedure is the same as a lug insert. Spears recommends our true lug butterfly valve for dead end service, although both types may be used. When installing a true lug butterfly valve, refer again to the butterfly valve torque and hardware requirement chart for the correct length and diameter hardware used. Once your valve installation is complete, you may need to independently support or brace flange valve assemblies to prevent movement and additional stress from opening and closing operation. Retightening in sequence is recommended after 24 hours to ensure a proper seal. This concludes our butterfly valve installation. Thank you for watching.